we just came from the harness to booster demonstration using the click tight technology where you open it up and you can easily install your seat with the seat belt. And I talked to you about how NHTSA had changed the regulations about child weight plus seat weight being a maximum of 65 pounds when you're using the latch. Well, we made it a lot easier over here on the convertible seats in that instead of having to know what size, you know, what weight your child is and what weight your seat is, we've just said the latch maximum, the most time that you can use the latch is up to 40 pounds. And then you have to transition over the seat belt. So whereas with the harness of boosters, you can start right with the seat belt installation. Most people with the convertibles, they're new to seats, they're more comfortable using latch, will say use it till 40 pounds. And then you don't have to remember how heavy the seat is or not. Um, we've also changed a couple other things on the seat. So something like our, we used to have suffixes behind each of the names. So roundabout, marathon, boulevard, pavilion, and advocate all had a suffix at the end. Roundabout was 55, and then all the rest were G3s and 70 pound weight limits. So you'd have G3, 70, and uh, actually 70 G3. G3, 70? G70 G3. God, well, so much to remember. <laughs> So basically these are now 65 pound weight capacity seats. Nothing has changed to the seat themselves. We are one of the leaders in the industry, so we're taking the first step. As NHTSA says, these changes need to go on in the industry and car seat manufacturers are gonna have to make changes. We said, let's do it now. ABC's coming, let's educate everybody. So we've also, like I mentioned, changed our latch limit to 40 pounds. Some of the other great changes that we've made in the process of having to make regulation changes is why not make ease of use changes to our seats too? NHTSA has um, uh, ratings, and one of them is on ease of use and labels. And when you're trying to install a seat, how easy is it to read you know, the labels on the seat or the user guide and know what you're doing? And so we color coded a lot. So if you look on the side of the seat, you're gonna notice blue for rear facing, green for forward facing, We've added a QR code, which we know a lot of parents nowadays are looking for in their products because so many um, companies are using them. That's going to actually take you to a homepage where you can pull up different videos that will help you through the process of installation. Luckily, these are pretty easy to install. We have latch and um, seat belt ease of use features in them. The other thing that I wanted to mention, since it's right in front of me, is part of the outgrowing of the seats, the 65 coming down from the 70 and the 40 pound weight limits, it's just the child simply sitting in the seat and fitting. Um, a lot of times you buy a seat based on the child's height and the child's weight. And people forget to check the seated shoulder height. And that's very important because a child can outgrow their harness before they outgrow the seat too. And the height of you know where they're, they're um, landing on the seat. So we've actually created a, a slight demonstration here with a ruler where if there was a child, the child could sit down where it starts at one and you can actually take a ruler, put it right on their shoulder and get their seated shoulder height. We've made it a little bit easier even in the seat so when you sit in the seat you see how much more room you have to grow. So we've added labels to the seat and as you bring the harness on and the, the headrest frame up and down you'll see that. A couple other changes we made. We got rid of the body pillows that have been in all of our convertibles in the past. Um, and we added this actually very comfortable pillow. I'll let you just feel it so you can see how thick it is. But this is something now that we've required for rear facing from five pounds, which is what our convertibles have always started at. So you can take your child home from the hospital, five pounds to 22 pounds rear facing. This prevents you from having to purchase a, an added foam insert. So sometimes when the child's really little, but they hit that five pound mark, they're not seated this, uh, the right way in the seat for the harness to fit them. This actually boosts them up a little bit. Okay. So it is required from five to 22 pounds. You can take it out after that. If you turn the, the seat forward facing at one year and 20 pounds, I know that's two pounds below, you can take it out. Okay. We, of course, are with the AAP in that keep your child rear facing until they're two. Okay. Um, one, one other thing that I will um, point out is that we've updated our uh, hubs with safe cell technology. You can still see the safe cells back here, but no longer when you go to adjust your harness, you have to use the chest clip because the little straps are holding it back. We had a lot of feedback when the seats came out, and we were really excited about this new technology, which is a safety technology, but the ease of use in changing the
the um, you know adjusting the harness made a difference. So needless to say, we've changed that, but we've added safety to the new hugs in that when you're in a crash and the child's moving forward, the chest clip is actually going to lock in place. You can actually see it locking in place in those little bridges right here. Yeah. Trying to keep that chest clip right at the armpit level. A lot of times, if that's not there, it's going to slide down, and then your seat, uh, your harnesses could actually come out. So that sort of gives you a lot to think about. Yes. <laughs> um, just the last thing that I'll leave you with is, you know, we always we've been saying, you know, there is more more to measure. This is a perfect example of two children that are 49 inches each. One has a seated shoulder height of 16 inches. One has one of 18 inches. So even though they're the same height, one will outgrow the seat and one won't at a certain point. <laughs> Any questions? No, you've covered everything. <laughs> All right, good. And we have lots of new fashion. So you, if you have a chance to kind of like stand down in the back here, you can see um, you see a lot of bright colors jumping out, a lot of uh, uh, hat prints, I guess, animal prints. Okay. Um, we have a giraffe print and a lot of neutrals, but a lot of silvers and blacks are coming back.